Hello, let's write some ambient music using SCAMP. For that, let me import SCAMP. And also, I'm going to import the random module. And this video is inspired by Simon Hutchison's video. I'm going to link it on the description. It's called PD for Airports. On, on which he basically models Brian Eno's music for airports using pure data and I'm going to do something similar but using SCAMP and you're going to see how easy it is to create some cool ambient sounds just with a few lines of code so let's create a session and I'm going to just create one instrument It's going to be synth strings. Alright, so I'm going to create a function called play ambient and it's going to take an instrument, a pitch, the duration, the wait time, and that's it. And I'm going I'm going to say the instrument dot play notes pitch and I'm going to create a, a little envelope as my amplitude so it's going to start at 0 0.2 volume it's going to swell up to 0 0.8 then it's going to go down 0 to 0 0.3 and my duration will be my dir but wait there's there's something that I miss here I'm going to do a wait call. Basically, what I'm going to do is have multiple instances of the instrument playing a note with different wait times, different durations, different pitches, and I'm going to loop that. So, my pitches that I'm going to use 36, which is a, a C three octaves below middle C sorry two octaves below middle C and let's go C one octave up let's do E flat G B flat D E flat G, B flat, C, E flat again. And as for my durations, I'm going to start with three. That means a half at a dotted half note plus 0 0.5 times x for x in range. Let's say 10. That means that the, the, the list I'm going to, to have is 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, etc. up until 8 because it's 0 0.5 times 10 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8. So those are my durations. And that's really it. We can do a while true loop, so you can do this forever. And now we just need to, to choose how many instruments we're going to use. So I'm going to do s dot for my function play ambient and my arguments. My arguments would be random dot choice pitches, so I can choose one pitch. No, sorry. My first argument is the instrument, then is the pitch, then is the duration, the choice, durs, and then the wait time. I'm going to choose it from the, the durs. And now what I'm going to do is just copy that like six times, let's say six times. And I'm going to 
end with a wait for children to finish call. And that's it. You, we have now a simple ambient music generator. I'm going to play this so you can hear it. Another thing we can do, let me just add an A flat here for, for some color. Instead of doing wait for children to finish, we can do wait and specify a value. And this will create some problems in, in processing, but you just ignore the problems because what matters is the sound. So let me say wait random.choice durs, but I don't want to wait like a little time. I want to wait. So let's start on the, the fifth element of the DERS list. Now let's hear it. As you can see, this is fully customizable. You can choose your own pitches, you can choose your durations. You can put the wait times different from the durations and create a, a list just for the wait times. You can use different instruments and it, it's really flexible. You can do a lot of things with it. And you see just 21 lines of code, like including the spaces. So the, this should be two spaces because Python asks for two spaces at the functions, functions. But yeah, so that, that's it. That that's just a, a, a little a little ambient generator. I encourage you to watch Simon's video. I'm going to link it in the description. He uses Pure Data. He, it's it's a really cool patch, and it's what's inspired me to do this video. Thanks.